that what do you think is the role of ICANN and what does ICANN do? I, I got some amazing responses. And um, so this, I'm going to tell you the most uh, amazing response. Let me read it out word for word here. OK? Uh, are you ready? Yeah, yeah. For that? Go for OK. It. So I was told that uh, ICANN is an NGO that makes sure it collects a small tax on every domain name we purchase. <laughs> Have you heard that before? Uh, yes and no, but but it, it is fascinating, you know, and it's actually correct. We do. Uh, yeah, not small though. Huh? No, they're, they're <laughs> small kidding. bits. So we we make what maybe 18 cents uh, every time uh, you know domain name is registered. Right. Uh, okay. So and the, and and on a registrar's invoice, you see some part of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, but the, you know, it's a, it's a comp complex system. Mm -hmm. The way we, so what is it that you want to know? Do, should so, I tell you how we make our money? Yeah, uh, actually what I think money as or, domain name investors we do not know yeah. is uh, when you engage with the registrar or you get billed by a registrar, you know what service is delivering. Right. But when you see that small I can tax, yes. so to say, right. <laughs> on the invoice, right. you do not know what service has so been guys, delivered. So guys, I'll be very honest, that little, that little seven cents that mm -hmm. you pay pays my salary, okay? <laughs> And the salary of my, uh, 300, 380 odd colleagues of mine. Okay, but what it also does is all the services that we spoke about that I can actually uh, does, mm -hmm. which is you know uh, secure the root zone, run the root zone. You know the root zone has expanded. Remember there were 18 mm -hmm. right of the dot extensions for the lot long longest time. Right. It's now gone to what maybe over 1300. Or uh, you know, and, more. A, yeah. and more, and uh, more, and with the new GTLDs. So, so there is a lot of technology that is there to kind of keep that space protected. We we are also so uh, the fact that I'm sitting and speaking to you over here is part of what we do to right. make sure that more people from from the audience over here get uh, engaged with ICANN. So yes, uh, we are a, uh, we are a nonprofit. Uh, registered in California with offices in various parts of the world and uh, yes we do take a little bit of money from the registries or the right. registrars. Right. Yes. So uh, what I also want to understand is now that you told us about the internal functioning of uh, the ICANN and what ICANN does for the internet right. uh, for IT entrepreneurs, domain name investors and how the self-governance model right. of ICANN works. What are the typical incoming issues which ICANN faces so that we can have a more uh, real world kind of a connect with it in terms of its dealings with the ISPs, in terms of how it deals with the governments, knowing that you had so much experience with government relations. Right, right. So what, what kind of incoming issues do you typically deal with? You know, the, let's, let's just uh, talk about governments for a moment. There are over 160 governments which participate at ICANN. Uh, we have something called the Governmental Advisory Committee. <clears throat> it is like a mini United Nations uh, kind of uh, structure which, which is there, but it's uh, far less formal. It is very informal, mm -hmm. but, but you do have all these government uh, you know, participants, okay. okay, and in a committee, and they give uh, advice to the board as to what they would like to see. And, uh, and, and some of the challenges as uh, as staff, as the organization, is how do we match the expectations of the governments of the world, mm -hmm. uh, the registry and registrar services also, and, and get them to agree, you know? And that is the essence of what we call the multi-stakeholder model. Given that it, is, it does not belong to a particular nation or yes. belong to a particular so, government. So there has to be consensus, so, uh, so every day, my colleagues across the globe uh, and I, we are working to resolve uh, these issues which, you know, uh, which could be contentious. Uh, and I, I, I don't want to go into specifics, but, but broadly that's the role uh, we play. Interesting. So I think, well, uh, that illuminates fairly well most of what we wanted to understand based on the feedback I received from people, their interest right. in the subject matter surrounding ICANN. Right. But uh, there's another uh, point that came up. Now, moving on to a more serious note. OK. 
Okay. There's another point that came up that as a domain name investor, right. when it comes to ICANN, mm. see, we engage very frequently, also yeah. because of the outreach of the uh, registrars and the right. registries, we end up engaging with them far more sure. frequently, as you would know, right? And you ought to as well. Fair enough. So when it comes to the ICANN, uh, it's, it isn't